Hey guys, welcome to episode 10 of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In this episode, I'll be facing the boss of Dragon Roost Cavern. Oh, I'm so excited for this. It's going to be a great, great episode. I hope you guys enjoy all of this. Um, I'll be getting the last two treasures after... Ow! Defeating this last freaking enemy. God, I hate these things. They're stupid centipedes that... Ugh. Anyways, let's get this. This will be the Joy Pendant. Oh, wait, no! My mistake! This is the Knight's Crest. This is our first Knight Crest. Um, later on in the game, we need ten of these to get a special upgraded power-up thingamabob that I'll explain later. And this one, we have a yellow rupee. I can't believe I th thought that was a Joy Pendant. I can't believe that was a Knight's Crest. Jeez. Well, um, actually, I'm going to do something here. There should be a fairy in here. Bingo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, yes, this just, I'm wasting my red potion. Okay. Though I know I don't need this fairy for this fight, I doubt I'm going to die. But a fairy is better than a red potion because if you die, a fairy saves you. Red potion will not save you. You have to be alive to drink it. Okay. Get that out of the way. I do not want to make a mistake and use that fairy by pressing X out of some randomness. Okay, now that I'm inside here, let's face this boss. Whoa. Really freaking big. Oh, hey, it's the Great Baloo's tail. I, w I wonder what that thing is. It's just hanging there. Nothing really big. Whoa. Trembling. Trembling. Oh my god! It's a giant scorpion that breathes fire! Goma! Dun dun dun! Yes, guys, this is the first boss of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, Goma! Ow. Um, the easiest boss in this game. Ah, and I'm saying that and getting my butt kicked, just like the LP curse said I would. Okay, and th there's two stages to this fight. First stage is swinging on the Great Valu's tail, and I'm missing terribly here. Ah, uh, okay. Wait for him to get stuck, aim for the Great Valu's tail, latch on it, and swing. <laughs> First time you do it, you get this little cutscene where he's like, what the fuck's grabbing my tail? Yeah, and you start swinging back and forth on his tail. This is pretty much the first section of this fight. The first segment. God. Okay, when you do that, that rock thingamabob falls on Goma, weakening his shell. You have to do that three times, and then his shell will completely be gone, and that's your chance to slash him with your freaking tiny toothpick of a blade. I mean, look at what we're fighting. This thing's humongous. Alright, when you're on these platforms, you can do it even easier. Because you don't have to worry about Goma attacking you, because you're all the way up there. Swing back and forth. Woo! Got it. And boom, that's two. Crack. Alright, one more, and then we'll be heading to section number two. Or segment. I don't know what to call it anymore. <laughs> Oh man, I'm doing this very late at night. It's like almost midnight over here. See, I live in Florida and uh, we're expecting that hurricane, so it's just started raining and all. And today I've been very busy trying to prepare for it, so yeah. Oh my god, take it, Goma. That's it, you're dead. Boop. Crack. And now he gets pissed and breaks his own shell and breaks the rock. Now you. Swinging on Baloo, the Grey Baloo's tail is pointless. Now is your chance to attack. He's weak to your grappling hook. When he does that, use your grappling hook, stun him, and then slash away. Easy as that. Alright. You would think that he's even stronger now, but he's weaker. Here we go. One, two, three, and he's done! It takes two combos to his eye to defeat him. That's it for Goma. Thanks for coming. And I'll see you never. He turns into fire and explodes. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun 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 -dun. There's his head. Ooh. And that explodes. Yep, that's a heart container, alright. Our first one in the game. Heart containers increase your health count by one. 
there are four heart pieces to a heart container, so we'll be doing a lot of collecting later on in the game to completely fill up our hearts. Our health meter. Well, anyway, we got the heart container! Your life energy has increased by one, plus your life gauge has been replenished. Awesome sauce! Man, the ending of the first dungeon. This LP is going great so far. I love that. The wind takes you out of the temple. So epic. We get this cutscene of the Great Valoon! He's happy now. He's like, my tail is better. Yay! And there's Medley telling, you know, the main guy, oh, everything's cool. Link's got this, man. And I did. Hey, it's Prince Kamali. He doesn't look emo anymore. But wait, didn't I come here for Din's Pearl? God, I guess this was a fail after all. I guess I, I helped the Rito tribe, but I don't have Din's Pearl. Now what am I going to do? Oh, well. Link! Huh? Medley? And Prince Kamali? Well, Prince Kamali, don't you have something you want to say? Um, I heard everything from Medley. Link, thank you so much. I'm sorry I mistrusted you. I hope I can be like you someday, Link. Don't start kissing up to me now, boy. <laughs> I'm just messing. It's cool, dude. Huh? So, Link, here. I want you to take this, Link. Giving you the thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. And we got Din's Pearl! This gem of the Rito's claim was passed down from the Great Goddess. Oh yeah. Great Valu's talking. Hey, Valu. You're welcome, by the way. The Great Valu is grateful to you, Link. Blah, 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 blah. Use the Wind God's Wind. Okay, so we have to use Wind's Requiem. Got it. See, this is what I mean when Wind's Requiem could is a, supposed to be um, acquired after the first dungeon, but we got it done the moment we got here, so the, no worries. I almost forgot the Great Valu also names you Link, a true hero. Well, thank you, Great Valu. I agree with him. As far as we're concerned, Link, you are, really are a hero. Well, I'm going to go and visit Valu. I'll come and see you sometime with the best pair of wings ever. Hey, Prince Kamali! Thanks so much, Link. See you again someday. And with that, we wrap up episode 10. Thank you guys for watching episode number 10 of The Legend of Zelda the Wind Waker. In episode 11, I will continue my quest to save my sister and the land of the Great Sea. Alright, let me show you where I'm going to head next, and then I'll cut this off. Next on the map, we have to go south. So, in episode 11, I'll be heading south. See you guys then.